Hello everyone, we're live from Lindsborg and we are actually in the CVB office today because I have something really cool that I wanna show you. We have received a gift uh, from a gentleman out of Winfield by the name of Ed Groney. And this is something that he built. Um, Ed has a lifelong, just amazing story of rodeo and of uh, custom fiberglass work for race cars and all kinds of things, but he's definitely a craftsman. And he decided to take on a project based upon what he believes to be his heritage, which is a Viking ship. And this is absolutely fantastic. You see it behind me, it's amazing. And Ed, I'm gonna flip this camera around a little bit and interview him and let him tell you a little bit more about this ship. It is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely amazing. So Ed, um, you brought this in to set up today. How big is this boat? Because this is huge. Well, it's it's actually six and a half foot long. So it's actually taller than I am if it stood on end. Uh, the original Viking ships that I copied off the internet were all around 72 feet long for the big ones. And so I just tried to scale, you know, an inch per foot and, and easier to work with the big stuff than the little stuff. So you started this from scratch. This was like, I mean, just wood. This was not a kit. This was this was nothing you had even a pattern for. This was something you designed. This, this was made out of one by four, one by eight oak lumber and just ripped down on, with my saw to get the pieces the size I needed. So show us some of the like the intricate work, like the pulleys on it. I am just amazed at some of the things that are on this. Like the pulleys for this are just crazy. They're so little, but yet they're all working. I mean, all of this is working and all of the oars are, I mean, handmade and they actually go into place and can be pinned into place. And it's like, what, 48 inches wide or something when it's all put when together? All put together I think yeah. It's actually 47. Okay, it's huge. Huge, huge, huge. And all of the the shields were custom painted. And so every, uh, every wife your wife helps you with that part of it. But it's just amazing. I mean, all of the finishes and everything are just absolutely beautiful on this. Do you want to, do you mind showing us some of the pictures in your notebook of just the process you went through? Please forgive us, everyone. This is on the counter in my office right now. Uh, be watching because it will be in some other places. But this is what you started with, which was just, just lumber. Mm -hmm. And then you began uh, cutting these pieces that you had made the pattern for yourself. Sure. Okay. So while you were doing this, did you ever have mistakes that you had to re-engineer? A few, a few. Yes. <laughs> It's always a little bit tricky. So this is how big this is. If you look at it standing, this is just the frame for it, correct? Right. And this is it next to your house out in the yard, just to give an idea of how big this thing is. It's huge. And all of this you put together, it's it's glued together. And if you look at the base of this, it's just amazing. I mean, all of it is, see if you can see it this way. It's all, I mean, it's, I don't know what you call this, but it's all different pieces of wood. So, I mean, the bottom of the boat, as you can see kinker. here, what is it called? We call it kinker. Kinker, okay. Kinker style where each piece overlaps the other one. Okay. Just you can tell there was a lot of sand in a lot of sanding involved, and you probably had to do it by hand, all of it. Oh, yes, oh. very much so. And this is still here. This is actually a little trap door that you can open, and it's actually right here on the boat. And you can still see inside to see how this was manufactured. So once we have it in place, uh, we'll be able to show people that a little bit better. And, of course, the inside of the boat. And if you look at the floor, this is all... Again, pieces of wood that were like nailed in place, correct? I mean, just a plank floor like it would have been originally in a, in a long ship. Now this is, is this the bow of the boat, correct? Yes. The bow, the front. Mm -hmm. And you hand carved the dragon yes. for the front of well, it? Well, I hand cut. You hand cut it. So if we look at it, this is all done by hand, pretty amazing. I'm just so impressed by all of this because this is some amazing craftsmanship. 
I can tell that you love this kind of stuff. And of course, again, this is one of the pulleys that all of the all of the rigging go through these these great little pulleys that I mean truly do work. I mean they're they're a, they're a working pulley that pulls all of the sail into place. So we really want to thank Ed for this gift. Uh, be watching around Lindsborg because this is going to float around and we'll share it for some different places. Um, pretty special gift and many hours of work. How many hours would you say you had in this? Un unlimited, pretty much. <laughs> Lost count. But anyway, we just wanted to share this special thing with you. We're signing off now from Lindsborg and we will see you next week.